the damn cell fly poison RDA. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at the Poison RDA, the Poison RDA from da DamselFlyTech.com. Um, DamselFly make the Poison RDA. They made a handful of other items as well, but they're not a super well-known company, fairly new to the game. This is their Poison RDA. So it's got a very interesting build deck. So another one of these Dead Rabbit-esque build decks that let you put the coils up really high on top and then you throw all the wicking down. It's got a really nice selection of airflow options available. It's 24 mil wide and available in a range of colours. My favourite being the one they sent me, luckily, the matte black, which is looking great on the Arclus. Um, mech mod so yeah 24 mil wide dual coil coils go on top um goon fitting tips on top as well comes with a couple of drip tip options uh, i've put my own in for now but i'll show you down low and a nice build deck as well vaping a bit like this nice and tasty nice and cloudy but we'll do our pros and cons after we've been down low which we might as well do right now Okay guys, here we are down low with the Demcell Fly Poison RDA. So the packaging, pretty straightforward, no real issues with any of that. Their website, if you want to find out more about these guys, is damcellflytech.com. Uh, if you Google damcellflytech, it comes up. Um, so do that if you want. Link in the description as well. I uh, don't know much about them myself. They're a fairly new company. They have a handful of uh, products available. These are the two drip tips that you get with. Uh, you get a nice sort of red uh, 810 one and a taller black 810 one. So you do get nice options. Uh, they're a bit basic y, but uh, you do get nice options not, nonetheless. Uh, not nothing else really to show you in the packaging. Um, very basic. It does come with a squonk pin though. You can squonk with this if you wanna, and it squonks absolutely fine. So this is it, this is the Poison RDA, this is the matte black version, I think there are five colours available, all the ones you would expect. There's not a traditional stainless steel one though, the tr stainless steel one is matte as well, so check them out if uh, if you wanna. Uh, so I've put my own 810 tip on here, 810 ti all the 810 tips are fitting absolutely fine, uh, I just think it's better than the ones that came with. You've got Poison written on here, you've got this knurled section here, that allows you to adjust the airflow. So you've got three holes here. If I pull this off, you can see you've got uh, all your adjustments you can do. So you can have one hole, two hole, three holes, three little holes in a row like that. So you've got a lot of nice airflow options. Airflow is really smooth as well. I'm liking it top one closed, bottom two open. That's how I'm liking it. Um, but you can have it however you like. You can even have it on this set setting here, which is three little holes down the middle. So loads of options. The airflow is fantastic on this RDA in my opinion. 24 mil wide as well, don't forget that. Damn Cell Fly written on there. Designed by Damn Cell Fly as well written on there. Poison and nice protruding pin. It's not a crazily long protruding pin like you see sometimes these days, but it's plenty, plenty protruding, which is good. Um, if I can get this off. Let's do it like this. Let's take the top cap off. I'll show you that in a sec. And then let's push it off like that. Okay, so you've got your top section here, which I've showed you, has all these airflow adjustments on. It's got one O ring up there, and it's a nice fit. That goes into this barrel, which is very traditional straight up barrel. There's no sort of reductions or you know anything like that on here. It is what it is in terms of the chamber size. And then you've got this little groove here which attaches to the base which stops it spinning when you want to take it on and off your uh, device. So that is the barrel section. Put that back like that. This is the deck. This is the deck. Got a couple of coils in here already to show you how that goes. So it's kind of like, um, like a V-shape if you like. Uh, it's the coils go straight on top so it's kind of dead rabbit-esque you've got quite high posts but they've done a little bit of a different take on it one advantage of this take is really makes it easy to trim those leads put your coil in fully with long long leads on it and uh, then just snip them once you've all done at the bottom just stick your scissors underneath 
your snippers underneath and snip them off at the bottom makes it very very simple indeed in terms of coil height just a few mil above the base is fine and all you all your cotton is going down into here all down into there so works great works absolutely great there's no issues there uh, with how you build it I suppose you could do a single coil if you wanted if you want a really really big beefy single coil in there you could do that put it straight down the middle one lead there one lead there for example something like that um, so that is an option if you want to but uh, yeah pretty sexy deck uh, let me show you all built up and cottoned up okay so here is one I made earlier um, all wicked up all coiled up as you can see cars go nice and high you're looking about three mil off the base there just do that yourself that's your own personal choice but that works absolutely perfect like that these are quite nice big chunky coils and as you can see there's room for much much bigger coils it's another advantage of this style of deck you can get humongous coils in here if you wanna as for the wicking as you can see the trick is to use quite a lot of cotton and uh, just drape it all down and poke it right into the deck you, more is more with this wicking style exactly the same as a dead rabbit you don't want any here on these posts or anything like that uh, but you do want to get loads down here so you've got a wall of cotton constantly wicking those co coils uh, leave all this bit free leave all this inside here free as well but yeah big old loopy bits of cotton uh, perfectly uh, over the top and that's how you wick it and build it putting it back together no issues there you've got this little groove here lines up with there on the deck on the base like that and that's what stops it spinning when you pop it on you've then got your top cap choose your airflow and drop it in like that obviously you can adjust your airflow when it's on and uh, happy days so that is the poison RDA from Demcel fly let's go back up top from pros and cons see you in a sec okay guys that was the poison rda down low really interesting rda really nice rda in a lot of ways i do have a handful of pros and cons uh, with this rda but overall it's vaping very very nicely very cloudy very tasty and a lot of good points for quickly rush over the negatives i don't like the name poison uh, poison RDA, I think the word poison and e-cigs and vaping, uh, we, we try and keep that word out of vaping and e-cigs, you know, don't really want the word poison in there, you know, a lot of ridiculous news articles and things like that, you know, like that word sometimes, uh, I don't think it's a great name, so I don't think it's a great name, so I'll put that out there. Not a big fan of the two drip tips that came with, they seem a bit clunky, seem a bit basic looking, seem a bit cheap looking, uh, but it fits all of the goon tips anyway, so I'm sure you've got a lot of goon tips, so I'll put my own goon tip on, so that's no big deal. The final negative um, I'm going to throw at this is the actual, and I actually talked about this with the recurve jewel in the previous review, is taking the top cap off. Um, so you've got two options. You can either take this top piece off like this, but if you do that, every time you put it down, you need to mess with your airflow to make sure you've got it right. So that's one option. The other option is put taking it off like this. And if you do that, you've got to line up these, let's just type. So you've got to line these. Uh, you've got to line this uh, cap up with the little groove, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I was doing it in my poorly lit living room, and I was really struggling to put it back on. Also, if you go for the taking the whole barrel off option, the cotton sometimes comes with it as well as it kind of did then, and that's a bit frustrating as well. So your best option is probably the knurled top cap. Um, the very top section taking that off but again it's just a tiny bit frustrating compared to other RDAs the cotton's the cotton's really big really big in the barrel so taking the barrel off is a thing beyond that though as you can see super cloudy super tasty I love the airflow on this RDA I love the options and I love the variety of the options as well you can have one little hole bang in the middle two little holes bang in the middle and you can have three massive holes bang in the middle and or you can have tiny little holes down the middle as well going through all three of them the centralized nature of the airflow is great having the air holes right in the center is really really good and it's super smooth and quiet as well a lot of RDAs are quite noisy these days 
not this one super super quiet um, so I really like the airflow I like how easy it is to adjust the airflow and the amount of options I think it works perfectly with this build deck um, so I really love the airflow on this RDA the actual build deck as well we're getting so used to these build decks now they're getting these this seems to be the most popular way of doing an RDA deck now so you've got your posts high up coil goes right on top another nice feature of this shape of uh, posts in the deck is you can you don't even have to cut your leads you can drop your leads into the height you want and then when you've tightened them all up then you can take the leads off underneath I really like it when it's easy to get the leads off I remember the days of three post and two post and four post where you had to really fiddle to get those leads snipped off uh, once you have built it together so this is such a joy it's such a breeze and a joy to build on obviously props to the dead rabbit for doing it first this high up coil design but nevertheless it's really good the advantage of having your coils this high is it's closer to the top closer to your mouth hole and it really does seem to add to the flavor easy to drip on you can also squonk with this rda as well squonks great drips great no issues on that score wicking in terms of wicking just make sure you use plenty of cotton uh, you need long strands of cotton that go that are really nice and fluffy and they go right down to the deck and they need to go right to the base of the deck otherwise you're not going to get enough juice getting sucked up to the top to the coils um, very similar to the dead rabbit in terms of how you wick this but again it is a breeze you just need plenty of cotton make sure you get plenty of cotton down there and uh, happy days really tasty really really nice uh, I don't think it's a great looking RDA I don't really like poison being like scratched on right across there if that could have been a bit slicker a bit simpler don't think it's a stunning looking RDA I like the fact it's knurled on my knurled arcless I've got a bit knurl in there a bit of knurl in there matte black matte black I really like the look that's coming together with these this combo but I don't think overall it's a brilliantly sexy RDA but it's damn tasty and it's a damn good vape and it's really easy to build and it ticks a lot of boxes. If you don't have a dead rabbit, maybe take a peek at this one yeah, instead. If you have a dead rabbit and you love it, I think you will like this too. So it's definitely an RDA, even though it's not many people have heard of this RDA necessarily. I don't even know how it came to me. <laughs> it just came in the post. Uh, but uh, although it's not a widely known RDA I think it's a pretty good one so definitely one maybe to check out if you're a dual coil dripper uh, yeah the uh, poison RDA let me know what you think in the comments like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you on the next video cheers